Hi, my name is Brendan. I'm with Family Piano Co. in La Figa. And um, we thought it would be fun today, to, uh, since we have to set up, unbox and set up this grand piano anyway, that we'd show you kind of what it looks like. Um, this one right here is a um, Kawaii a GL10, um, medium polish, ebony polish, so it's going to be the shiny black um, baby grand. And um, what we're going to show you today is going to be applicable to pretty much um, every grand piano that's packed up by Kawhi. So they pretty much do a pretty consistent job. First off, um, we're gonna take undo these straps. So you can either cut them, not that you're gonna be unboxing this yourself, but it's kind of nice to see what's under the hood. Or they have the pressure things to just unpop it with our hands. So we're gonna come and do that. And then we can take the lid off. This lid, Add some structural support as we're doing everything here. Then these go roughly where the um, legs are going to go. Um, so we're just going to unscrew some of these. Actually, so we've got this whole process. Um, we, we do pretty frequently as we get these grand pianos in um, just to kind of get them ready um, for you to see some of the uh, junk. Next up, we have right here, here's these little clippy dippies that uh, come into place and that holds these two giant pieces together. Um, these folds add a lot of structural support. This side, it's going to be kind of um, uh, nailed into the board here, but luckily, with a little bit of force, we get that. Now, this is this step right here. This is going to be the legs and uh, the wire support system right here. So these are all packaged up real nice there. This is where those previous screws were into these big blocks of wood. Now we're going to remove these uh, big blocks of wood. So these bolts right here are actually going to hold the legs in place later. So these we're going to keep track of. are going to be a little bit longer, so we're going to kind of put these back here. There's a little bit of extra support. Um, since the back leg you'll see in a little bit is going to bear a little bit more of the uh, uh, pressure as we're setting this whole thing up. And that's how it's built, that's how it's designed. This, uh, if you twist it at just the right angle, you can kind of clear this out. I'm going to remove that in a second, but we're getting the, the metal out. And uh, these supports are designed to keep this piano vertical um, and uh, bolt into the board during uh, transportation. Um, but while it's here, this is going to be very stable. Um, so even though I'm removing the supports, it's going to stay put. Um, it's not going anywhere. So.
I'll remove this bracket here in a little bit, but this kind of just gets up out of place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully remove the plastic here um, so we can get to putting the legs on it. These front legs um, have the same length bolt, and you can actually see a little bit there's a, a bolt length um, diagram on it, which is really, really handy. So these are right here. This, uh, you know, helps cover it and uh, protect for humidity and everything during transportation. We're going to keep this in place. This is very important for this piece of plastic to stay here. It keeps the lid closed, uh, which is very important right now. So we leave that. Um, here's the bench. And uh, on here, it'll have the correct models and, and finish for it. But uh, one of the things I like to do is um, write the serial number on it the moment we get it off. So we keep the bench with the piano. So we have on here, this is a GL10 ebony polish. And the serial number on this particular one is a, it starts with an F, which means it was made in Indonesia, uh, versus the Japanese made ones, um, 186. The packing process between the two facilities um, in Japan and Indonesia are very, very similar uh, between the two of them. So, I'm going to put the bench off to the side here. Put that away in a little bit. And so now we've kind of got something that we can set up um, and start putting the legs on. So we're going to start by putting the, the legs um, right here and right here. We're not going to put those on quite yet. The other thing, and while I'm setting this up, I'm going to explain a little bit. Some piano movers will put the, uh, the pedals on, the, the pedal structure, also known as the lyre. Um, which makes it easier. It does make it a lot easier for setting it up. And um, uh, it, is you have a better pivot point for setting it up. Um, and these coils are built very strong. They're, 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 they're able to handle that without causing really any damage to the inside of the piano. Um, however, the best practice is to set it up with just the two um, legs, get it up, um, get the third leg on and then put the wire on. Sometimes when we um, have done it before with the wire drop, um, it'll sometimes knock some things out of place, which is not the end of the world, we can fix it. Um, it doesn't cause any damage, it's just kind of annoying. So in here it comes with the caster cups that come with every grand piano. We get the, the warranty card. Uh, we register the warranty for all of our customers. All of the new Kawhi's come with a 10-year manufacturer's warranty that unlike our peers in the industry, um, the Kawhi's have a transferable warranty. So if um, you choose to uh, sell this to your brother-in-law um, in seven years, your brother-in-law will have the remaining three years on the warranty. So um, that's right there. And then uh, we've got on here, this is the pedal assembly right here. And, uh, pack it upside down to make everything work. So we're going to put this off to the side here. And after we're done setting it up, we're going to put these pedals on. But what's most relevant right now is we're going to go ahead and put the legs on. Now, there are some manufacturers who have a back leg that's bigger and thicker than the two front legs. Uh, Kawhi, that's, that's not really the case. So all three of these legs are going to be exactly the same. So. Um, I don't have to try figuring out which way goes which with which spot on the piano. Um, the nice thing is that this uh, um, they have the uh, like I said the bolt legs thing. Make sure you put the right bolts in place. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in. They have uh, um, on here. They've got these nice dowels to make sure everything's aligned just right. Gives it also a little bit extra of a better fit on the. Uh, Piano. On here, you can kind of see on the piano, it'll actually show country of origin as well as when the piano was manufactured. So it got finished um, back in October of 2020. This is one that um, we were actually, we've been waiting on. So as soon as it arrived in California, they put it on a truck and it arrived here. So. Um, today it's the end of January, it's January 25th, um, 2021. So this is uh, about three or four months it takes to get from uh, 
overseas to our um, facility here in Waukegan. So that's one thing to point out about it. Alrighty, so we're back. I've got my mask on because I'm here with my two friends, Drew and Antonio. And this is uh, what we do for fun and pleasure, is set up pianos. Um, so um, I removed the brackets here from earlier, and uh, we're about ready to get going. A couple points on, on how we do this. Um, one, we keep this in place. Uh, we, we put the wheels up so that they don't um, uh, uh, turn as much. It doesn't slide as much when we set it up. Right now, it's very stable on the um, skidboard. But one of the things we want to do is give ourselves a little more room. Um, you know, there's only like a half an inch right here. So that when it starts coming down, we want a little bit more pivot room. So we're going to scoot it over on the dolly and then work on setting it up. So this is going to be less stable, but it gives us more room right here. So this gives us plenty of room so the corner doesn't get dinged up. So we're gonna work on setting it up um, just nice and smooth so it's gonna land on that per foot first and then this foot. Then I've got a nice cheater bar right here. So as soon as we get the piano, we whip the piano up high enough, so we can put this underneath and then we're, we're not hanging out on the grand piano for ever and ever as we put the final leg on with the bolts and everything right there. So this is kind of how we do it, right? One. So I'm going to stay here just to spot it, um, just to make sure nothing moves, um, so I can kind of help catch it, but it shouldn't. It's securely in place. And once again, you want to be extra secure. So the Drew is going to place the leg on it while I spot it. And uh, at that point, um, we can remove the cheater. We're going to work on putting the wire on underneath. Um, and then um, unpacking it requires a little bit more. So. Um, I'll show you in a minute. So I'm um, under here about to install the um, wire, uh, the, the pedal support system. So the bolts are, are handy right here and uh, ready to go. And uh, on here, we've got the uh, support rods which this part is going to um, have, they have little screws that, uh, that I'm going to screw this into on the bottom. And uh, that's going to just give a lot more support. So when I told you earlier about how some people attach the uh, wire support system um, before they put the piano down, it's really well built. I mean, this can handle quite a bit of pressure as it's, as it's being set up. So, um, and then there's a, uh, we'll just work on setting this up. Alrighty, so we're under here and uh, Kawhi very conveniently places all of the screws that we need right here. Um, I could use a, a, a power drill right here um, and some of my coworkers do and it's totally cool. Uh, personally, I just really like having a little bit extra control as I'm taking the screws in and more importantly, putting them in myself. So um, we just kind of put that in place. And uh, as we're doing things, I like to get the, everything basically in place and then to tighten things up as it gives me a little more wiggle room during the process. So, I got one under here. And, uh, sometimes, if you uh, ever have the dampers not working, it's this guy right here. This is called the Pitman, and it uh, um, attaches to the uh, damper assembly um, up top. So, sometimes during the move, this damper assembly thing, the Pitman, will get out of place and um, then the piano will ring and ring and ring and ring. It's a pretty simple fix, 
Um, but that's that's what it is right there. That's firmly in place. Alrighty, so now um, that we've got the uh, legs on it, we've got the pedal on it, um, now we can kind of start unwrapping it a little more. So now we can finally cut this piece of paper. We've got the plastic, it has a little bit of cardboard on it. We're gonna remove this cover, which if we wanted, we could use, you know, as kind of a, as a cheap cover for piano, but sometimes it's handy, but um, we've got the cover here. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. And then as we kind of open up, we're going to, there's a lot of packing materials in here. So I can kind of see, kind of untie some of these things. So I'm gonna make a bit of a mess for a little bit as we do this. Um, to help prevent some of the oxidation on the strings here. And then earlier when we were talking about we have these wonderful bags of um, silica gel that has, um, act as a desiccant to absorb moisture um, during transportation. So on a grand piano, we get these two uh, bags that uh, kind of look like they should hold gold coins, um, but it's just basically the same material that's in your shoes to keep them dry. Um, and in here, we have a uh, plastic, hold that in place. So there's just a, a, a fair amount of packing material in here for all the points just to keep everything tied up. Um, so shoot string right here. And, uh, at this point, I don't really need any tools whatsoever. It's just removing some of the materials here. And then you would think you could just start playing, but you can't. All of this is held in place. There's a, a piece of wood in the action that keeps the um, hammers and parts from flying around during transportation since it's on its side. So um, now's a great opportunity to show you how easy it is to do a little bit simple. Um, if you're ever playing and you drop a pencil, sometimes it'll go down this, um, down the fall board and into the action. Well, the nice thing is you don't actually need to have any special parts or anything. Um, for this, you can just kind of remove the, um, pull it out at about a 45 degree angle, and you can remove the fall board um, very easily, um, which is nice. Um, some of our uh, other piano manufacturers, they, um, they have it remain with the cheek block right here, and it's kind of a pain, in my opinion. Um, next up, we are going to remove the cheek blocks so that we can get in there. And once again, this is something I don't need a screwdriver for. We have these real nice big uh, Mickey Mouse um, hand screws that make it really easy for me to um, pull the uh, cheek blocks. These are a little bit of an angle. So as you can see here, this kind of holds the action where it needs to go. Um, and then up front here, you kind of have a um, spot for it to fit into the uh, key slip. Now, this is something that's real nice on the Kawhi pianos. Um, on a lot of pianos, especially when they were first being made um, and for many years, um, as you would play the keys, um, they would get stuck. That's because this big thin piece of wood would kind of warp over time. And it would catch the front of the keys and it would cause the keys to stick. Well, what Kawhi has done is they've actually engineered this so that you have a big piece of metal right here, very stiff piece of metal, and then they bend it so the metal doesn't bend. Uh, makes it much, much stronger, much stiffer um, as we do that. And it's a very a very heavy, very dense um, uh, key slip right here. So this is just one example of all of the over-engineering they put into these, all of their grand pianos. All of their, all of their grand pianos. So we got a couple little wedges of wood to keep the action from slipping around. And, uh, some of them wedged a little bit more than others, but got the little, little wedges. And then you can just pull the whole action out in one go. And so here is the stick of wood that's put in here to keep the action in place during transportation. 
And uh, so we've got these guys here. And uh, now we can do all of the lovely playing. And um, on the action itself, um, Kawhi has done some really awesome engineering to make them just lovely pianos. You'll notice um, on here that this is a aluminum action bracket um, with uh, several kind of support places here, more than most of our competitors, and the aluminum. Um, just doesn't work over time. So it's a very stable basis to do all of your very fine adjustment for the mechanism. So everything performs the way it is. The precision's really there. Um, it has an extended length key stick. Um, you know, these are just really well engineered. And as you kind of see from the side, it's not all wood. The big thing that Kawhi does is they put, they have the Millennium 3 action that has the carbon fiber in it. So it's a very stiff material that transfers the energy a little bit more efficiently than the traditional wood. So it just, it, it feels great on day one, and it doesn't swell and contract with humidity. So all these points um, in here, especially the little pinpoints, they stay exactly the right diameter. They get loose, they don't get tight. Um, so it's gonna um, stay quite excellent for longer than a traditional wooden action. So um, that's one of the things I love about it. And if you'll notice, on here, it actually says Kawaii Action Made in Japan. So even though uh, the, the final country of origin for the GL10 um, is officially Indonesia, the action, the main part that you play, is still a Japanese action, um, which is one of the reasons why it feels so darn good. So, here we go. Play, and let's see how this begins. Last time any human being touched it was in Japan. And then they had it in the warehouse, they put it on a boat, shipped it over here, got into the Kauai warehouse, they put it on a truck, they brought it over here, and uh, about two hours ago, we got it off the truck and we brought it into our showroom. We started unboxing it for this video, and um, it's wonderfully in tune. It's pretty amazing. So it's gonna go really, really out of tune in about the next like two to three weeks, but for now, it just sounds absolutely lovely. this particular Kauai Grand Piano. Um, I hope this was instructional and helpful for you. And if you have any questions, you can reach out. Um, once again, my name is Brendan I'm with Family Piano Co. We have two stores in Waukegan, Illinois, and at Golf Mill Mall in Niles, Illinois. And especially if you're in the Chicagoland area, stop in. Uh, you can play our lovely selection of Kauai pianos. We have some refurbished instruments. We've got some digitals. You can try everything out. We can answer your questions. Uh, make sure you make a comfortable, confident decision. Um, but I hope this was helpful. If you have a question, reach out. Thanks.